Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Desolation Suicidal. Some more, just some classic, good KF2 content here. No pressure. Uh, I gotta fix my hair here. No pressure, no worrying about achievements, no worrying about objectives. I mean, we did an objective in the last episode, I didn't even really notice, but I, I kinda noticed. Um... I don't know, after playing Objective Hell on Earth, suicidal, like normal suicidal, just honestly kind of feels really, really underwhelming. <laughs> Which is like, I, I, get, I don't know, maybe, maybe something good came out of the Objective Mode stuff, but uh, I don't think it's the, the right way to hone your skills personally. I don't think it's the right way to do it. I think there are better ways, and that's just, you know, practice more kf2 normally you know but uh i i definitely think i i learned a few things that are very important to me while we did the objective mode hell on earth stuff even though i i hated every single moment of it uh i learned a few important things as we went through that uh terrible process yeah that was a really salty episode though hey i think it's live now i don't know if people have watched it definitely have not gotten a comment on it yet um Man, that was a salt-filled episode. I hope you guys like salt, because uh, <laughs> it was definitely prevalent in that. Uh, it's a bloat, right? Yeah, it's a bloat. I don't even know what this it was definitely is. prevalent in that episode. Where are you coming up? You, you're coming down here, right? You're gonna, you're gonna show your butt. Actually, we do have to go down anyway, so let's just pop our butts down here and, and go fight this bloat. It's a rioter! They walk at the same speed. Um, salty episode. Hope you guys like salt. I like salt. I got a big jug of uh, sea salt sitting on uh, underneath my 3D printer. It's a big old... It's not a jug. It's, uh, it's a bucket. Malden flaky sea salt. Mm, love that stuff, man. I put that stuff on anything! Back in the game! I'd put that stuff on anything, dude. Genuinely. I don't think there's much in this world that's uh, worse off for having some Malden flavored sea salt. Not Malden flavored, but Malden brand sea salt. Not sponsored. Malden hit me up. Not sponsored. Yet. I love that stuff, though. It's so good. It gives a nice crunch to stuff, and I'm a fan of salt in general, so, um, you know? Like a little flake of sea salt on uh, on a chocolate chip cookie or something. And it's like... Mmm. It's good. Brownies. Mmm. Love it. I got a big old bucket of it. I bought a... Uh, initially I bought like a little box thing of it just to, to test it. See if I liked it, you know? Because I knew I wanted to try the sea salt. Because uh, everybody I saw on YouTube had it and... I was like, everybody's using this. You know, Joshua Weissman's got it. Guga Foods has got it. Like, everybody's got this, uh, this flaky sea salt stuff. Like, what's the, what's the hype around it? So I bought a little thing just to try it out. You know? I, like, basically don't use any other type of salt now. You know? Like, there are times when it's, it's best off to use, uh, like, a, a table salt or something like that. Just for, you know, baking... Um, if I'm gonna be cooking, I'd rather use like kosher, like if I'm cooking like uh, a pork chop or, or uh, mushrooms or, or whatever, I'll, I'll use kosher salt, generally speaking, because it uh, works a little bit better for that purpose, but if I'm like putting something on my plate and I'm like, man, this needs a little bit of salt, you know what I put on? I put some, some malt and salt flakes on it right there. Just, uh... Nice and beautiful. And it's wonderful. Love it. Um, not sponsored. Wish it was. Hit me up. We're gonna kill this guy. He's dying. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got a couple of shots off. I don't think we got enough, though. Oh, we were one shot off, dude. So close. Uh, I know where it is. It's over this way. Come see me. The pod's safely open. Nicely done. Anyway. Anyway. What's your guys' favorite I haven't tried all the salts. But what's your guys' favorite salts? Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and upgrade. 
What's your guys' favorite salt? There's like so many different types of salts out there. You got like black salts and red salts and white salts and pink salts and blue salts and like all these salts. You know, I'm not saying these are the names of the salts. I'm saying these are, you know, just the, uh, just describing the salt color. <laughs> I don't know what they're called, but there's so many different types of salts. I'm gonna try them all, dude. Cause they all, they're, they're all probably, you know, the one thing that they have, not, I'm not talking about like, um, she shoots, she kills. uh, salt if you're like trying to go for like a crystallizing kind of process or whatever, like, that's a different kind of salt, I mean like cooking salts, um, there are like a billion different types of salts, and I bet that there's a, uh, one common thing with all of them, I bet they're all salty. They all, they're all, they all probably taste about the same with different degrees of saltiness and then and then maybe uh, a little bit of a, an added flavor from uh, from whatever like impurities they have in them. Like um We make smoke salt every now and then. You take some, some kosher salt and you just smoke it. Okay? Like try it. If you got a uh, do you have a smoker of any grind? Yeah, if you have any way of smoking something, smoke some salt. Like just take some kosher sea salt. Or just take some kosher salt, sea salt, whatever kind of salt you got, smoke it. It adds a surprising amount of flavor to the salt and uh, changes the color, right? So it's no longer white. It's, it's now, you know, a little bit of a, a brownish, yellowish kind of thing, right? Super, super delightful. Really, really nice. Adds a nice, uh, I wouldn't even say smokiness to whatever you're cooking, because I don't think it really does add a smokiness to whatever you're cooking, but it just adds a nice flavor to, to whatever you're cooking. It's not really a smoky flavor, it's just a, a like a good flavor, <laughs> you know? Aww. Almost got him. Um, just adds a good flavor, not necessarily a smoky flavor, but... That's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking of when I think of all these different types of salts that are all different colors. It's just probably like a similar kind of thing, right? Like smoking the salt changes the color of the salt and also the flavor of the salts. Um, and it's probably, but it's still ultimately, you know, at the end of the day, it still tastes like salt. It just it tastes like salt plus smokiness. And um, that's probably what all these other salts taste like, right? It's, it's probably just salt plus, you know, whatever it is that's coloring them. You know, like, black salt might taste like salt and... I don't know. Um, but, like, whatever, whatever's making it black. Like, maybe salt and, and charcoal or something, you know? I don't know. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I know that there's a black salt out there. I just don't know what to... It tastes like black garlic or something. I don't know, dude. All I know is that there's a lot of different types of salts, and I want to try them all, dude. But the... Ultimately, I think the, the reality is they're all probably going to taste about, like salt you know a lot of people can't tell the difference between uh, the different types of salts and uh, I'll have you know I'll have you know that as a connoisseur of the salts uh, there is a difference now if you're to put down like kosher salt and sea salt on a plate and be like taste them and tell me which one's which I'm not sure I could uh, I could tell you like which one is is which I, I I'm relatively confident that uh, I'd have uh, more than just the 50% success rate you know not sure how close to a hundred percent it would get but uh, I'm fairly confident it wouldn't be just like uh, 52 or 53 percent success rate I'm thinking more like a, a 65 to 75 percent success rate kind of thing you know definitely leaning into the yes there is a uh, perceptible difference here no, there's not like a major difference. You know what I mean? You can you can definitely tell, but uh, it's not necessarily making the difference. The main difference between uh, like a, a flaky sea salt for me, and I actually I use sea salt to uh, season my popcorn too. I I, uh, I crush it up in a mortar and pestle, and then I I put that on my popcorn instead of uh, of like table salt, um, because I prefer it. You wanna move, dude? 
I think it tastes better. So I uh, I do that. So even even outside of the the textual thing, like I said, there is a difference. I just I don't think it's enough for 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 even honestly most people to be able to tell. What do we got? Scrake. We can handle Scrake. For even most people to be able to tell the difference, I'm not sure it's going to be there for. You know, if you weren't looking for it and you didn't like know it fairly fairly intimately, I'm not sure anybody would be able to really tell the difference. Anyway, the main difference for 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 like the flaky sea salts versus the uh, the table salt, like your regular old table salt, kosher salt. Uh, or whatever is um, in the texture, right? Because flaky sea salt is is flaky, and uh, it's really really nice when you put like a big piece of like flaky sea salt on your bread, and it's a bread that would go well with that. It's not very nice when you put a big piece of flaky sea salt on like a slice of tomato. You know, that's that's not as 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 good. So you gotta kind of know when uh, when to use it and when to not use it, because it is about that. Uh, for me, anyway, the flake you see salt is about it's about that uh, intensely salty crunch that you get from the uh, from the flakes themselves. It's not necessarily about the the more pure flavor of the salt. It's about the texture experience. And um, I think it's really easy to. Where you at, buddy? He's coming over here. Oh my days! I actually, like you, if I had a heart rate monitor right there, it would have said zero for a moment there. <laughs> there would have been a moment. There would have been a couple of frames there where, uh, where the heart rate monitor said zero. Ooh, <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Ooh, okay, <laughs> okie dokie, artichoke. Y'all say that? Y'all say those kinds of like uh, rhymes and stuff? My grandmother used to say them to me all the time when I was uh, growing up. You know, like "see you later, alligator," or "okie dokie, artichoke," and like all these kinds of cheesy things. You know, so I say them still. I don't know. It's just kind of what I grew up with, and it's it's uh, it's what I do now. There was a period of time where I was thinking like oh, I'm too cool for. For for okie dokie artichoke, and I tell you, I realized that uh, you know, many many people might expect or think that uh, you know what's coming up here is that uh, I realized that uh, it's not uncool to say okie dokie artichoke. No 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 no. I realized that I am not cool enough to not say okie dokie artichoke. <laughs> um, so I'm okay with saying it. I say okie dokie artichoke see you in a while I love that crocodile see you later alligator and all these other nonsense things you know sleep tight don't like the big bugs bite you know all, all of these I say them all I say them all I'm cheesy and I'm, uh, I'm ex I accept it and you know what I think I think that uh, that makes me go from being so uncool that I don't get to that I have to not say okie dokie artichoke to being so much cooler than people who won't say it. So that's that's my opinion on the matter. You see how much happier I am when I'm not doing objective mode stuff? <laughs> it's just like, oh boy. Oh boy. How long are we in this video? 13 minutes? Yeah, we got another one. Yeah, we got another one. One more desolation here. One more desolation. Peeps want to be all, uh, and growing up, that was like a big thing, right? Was was too cool to do this, too cool to do that. Nah, man. Nobody, nobody's too cool to say anything. Nobody's too cool to do something. No such thing. You know? I think the least cool thing is to not do something you want because you think you're too cool to do it. I think, I think that's one of the least cool things you could do as, as a human being. Like if you're if you're sitting there like I'm too cool to do this, but you want to do it, you're like, oh, I kind of want to do it, but I'm too cool. You know, if you're sitting there and you're you're lamenting over the fact that you're too cool to do something that you want to do, it would be like hurting your reputation. I think you're like the least coolest person alive. I don't think cool people really worry about uh, hurting their reputation with stuff like that. You know, I do what I want, and I don't you know I don't want to kill anybody, so I don't do that. 
Um, but you know, at a certain point, you got to think, okay, maybe, maybe you shouldn't do what you want to, if you do want to, you know, kill somebody or hurt somebody or steal from somebody. Or, you know, like some things, some things are uncool. Okay, you're never too cool to do something, but uh, some things are just uncool. Um, don't don't kill people, don't hurt people. But like, you know, I don't, uh, I don't sit there lamenting over how I'm. Uh, I want to I don't want to hurt my reputation and let people know that uh you know I don't want I don't want people knowing that that uh I cry at uh trashy Chinese novels. I don't sit there you know being like man I wish I had could uh, could talk to somebody about these uh this guilty pleasure of mine but I don't want anybody to know about it. You know, I don't want anybody to to think I'm not cool, you know? I don't, I don't do that. You know that a lot of people do. I know that I did it when I was a when I was a young child, and uh, you know I just for me it's just it's a lot more cooler to not pay attention to that kind of stuff, in my opinion. So I don't. I do what I want, and you know what it makes a lot of people say that I'm such a dork and I'm such a geek and I'm such a nerd and I'm so weird and like all this kind of stuff. And you know what I say to that? You're dang straight. <laughs> That's me, dude. Don't uh, don't wear my name out, alright? That's who I am. And I'm okay with it. What are we here, boys and girls? Man, I love uh I love I love KF2, dude. Yesterday I hated KF2. Yesterday was, was the least fun experience I've had playing KF2. But really what it boils down to is just like KF2 is fun, dude. Oh. My. God. I take everything I just said back. I hate KF2. This game sucks. And I hate it. I quit. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding! I'm kidding! I don't get salty over husks. Ooh, one, 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 one. So good, dude. So good. At the D coming up this weekend. Not sure if I'll be doing a one shot or if we'll be doing the real campaign. We have a uh, a single person who can't make it this coming weekend, and then we have somebody who's not responding for whether they're able to make it on um, the next time that we'll be doing. So, like I, I said, look, if we can all make it for the thirty first of October, which is like you know probably a day when most people can't make it, right? Uh, at 6 a.m. for me, for the record. <laughs> so, I talked about how I don't like uh, Halloween because I want to just sleep all night. And uh, that's definitely going to be true this year as well because I'm going to be tired. So, we're probably going to be playing D&D at uh, 6 a.m. But, you know, which which for me, you know, just means I have to get up at like 4.30 in the morning to get started for my, uh, my D&D session. And that's on a Saturday, so... Like Friday, I will have already had to, you know, Friday's a work day, and it's a day that I actually work, so I will be streaming, because it's Monster Hunter Day, and I'm into that, so, like, whatever happens, whatever I change, I'll still be streaming Monster Hunter on Fridays, dude. I love that. Um, but, uh, I am, I am struggling a little bit for time today, by the way, uh, so I'm kind of taking a peek at the time. We, we might not necessarily finish this run. I'm gonna see if we can maybe make it go by a little quick here and and hope but no promises we might have to, to finish it off a little bit early anyway uh, so we might uh, be playing this weekend I don't know if we'll be playing a one shot or whatever I'm gonna see if maybe we can make it work for the 31st and then have somebody else do a one shot for this weekend because I'd really love to be able to play again as a player but you know it's uh, it's a complicated thing scheduling all these people and stuff it's it's hard you know so But, uh, yeah, I do have to, like, I still have to get dinner. And I'm planning on ordering some food for dinner because I just don't want to make food today. I don't really have too much of interest for me. And, uh, I don't really want to make anything. I have to go grocery shopping and I just don't really want to today. So I'll probably go grocery shopping tomorrow. And I want to get the food ordered before they get into, like, you know, I'm too lazy to do a good job of making food. You know what I mean? Like, it happens, okay? I worked at fast food, okay? At a certain point, all the people who actually care about their job go home. 
and the people who don't care about the job start working. And um, those people aren't going to do as good a job cooking your food. And the people delivering aren't going to care about delivering your job as well, or your food as well. And it's just going to be a whole mess the whole way down the, the line. So I would like to order before that happens. And then after I order food and eat food, I'd like... At that point, it's like uh, so far removed from, from doing any kind of YouTube stuff that I don't really want to uh, to worry about anything there. So, yeah, just... just um, which is a little bit concerning because at the same time we also we don't we do not have a backlog on the KF2 at the moment. Just just FYI. This video goes up tomorrow morning. Friday morning. Um I have to get seven videos recorded after this one still. Uh not necessarily today, but like tomorrow, seven KF2 videos recorded, and I have to get uh some more stuff recorded today as well, and it's there, there's just there, there's a lot to do, and I also would like to order food at some point and eat, so uh, we might end up finishing. I'd love to find these dudes. We're not gonna be able to have this one go on for for super long, unfortunately. It's a little bit of a weird week, honestly. I got to, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I got a little bit depressed uh, this week. Um, I mean, it happens, right? When you're doing something you don't want to do, and you're kind of pushing yourself through it. Uh, which was the streams for me this week, Tuesday stream, and then the Wednesday stream, and then when I had to like let myself down by by not by committing to not doing them, uh, it was it was honestly it was disappointing to myself, and um, it, feel, it feels bad, right? And so I was a little bit depressed this week. I'm I'm feeling better now. I'm not depressed now, um, but I was depressed earlier this week, and and as a result of that, I don't have enough much of a backlog. Also, I ended up uploading some videos wrong and stuff, and like one of the videos I recorded, I don't even get to upload, and um, just just a mess all around, really, right? So it's like as bad as it gets. Um, but you know, sometimes uh, sometimes that happens, and and you just gotta kind of live with it and 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 run with it, right? So um, yeah, I'm I'm happy now. Tomorrow is going to be a long day. I'll have to record a lot. My mother is working late tonight, but it's also like, well, it's five o'clock right now, just about. So I guess I, I, I'm yeah, I'm going to be getting some more recording done today. Is basically the thing, but I don't really want to um, do anything else. I don't know. I, I it's a it's a complicated thing for me anyway to to worry about it because I have like so many videos to get done for this weekend. Still, I have. Uh, Four more Gunfire Reborns to record. Four Yamajack tries to record as well, and seven KF2 videos. Um, that just that ends up being like um, the Gunfire Reborn and the Yamajack tries eight about four hours there, um, and then seven KF2 videos is, is is about another four hours. So I got like eight hours of recording to do still, right? And I want to get some of that done today, and then, then some of it done tomorrow. I'm not sure how much I'll be getting done today, but I'm not streaming. Well, I am streaming tomorrow, because I'm going to be streaming Monster Hunter, which I'm super excited about. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, a lot to, to concern myself with. I might even work on the weekend. Um, I don't mind so much, honestly. Um, so I'd be able to take some time off the, uh, the weekdays. But I don't really want to either. I don't know. No, I'm not going to work on the weekends. I'm going to have to get it all done uh, before that. I might not do any Amajack tries this week, then. I might give up on the Amajack tries, get the Gunfire Reborn and the KF2s done, save myself the two hours or three hours or whatever that it would take, and call it a day. Um, but yeah, this week has just been like... I mean, the thing is, I'm, I'm naturally a day ahead of schedule, and I'm like basically behind now. So it's it's bad. Um, it's basically just been this week that's just kind of been bad all around, though, so. This game has gone pretty quickly, so I think we are actually maybe going to have time to, to finish this up. I was I was thinking I'd like to have it done before 5 p.m., and it's three minutes before then right now. It's pushing it a little bit, but not, not that much. It's definitely within reach, because we just got the, the wave 4 and a uh, boss wave. I think we'll be able to finish it. 4 or 5 was kind of my goal with it, though, because I want to, um... Oh, cool. Get my food ordered, and then uh, maybe do some more recording tonight. I don't know. I'll have to think about it, but I'm really tired, 
And I'm, I'm still, like, I'm not depressed, but I am still kind of like... You know, I, I was, I'm not depressed right now, but I was depressed this week for sure. I was definitely in about a depression. And I'm feeling good now, but I'd like to, to continue feeling good. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to overwork myself and then and then put myself in a... Depressed again, so so I'd like to, to, to make it as easy as I can. But then at the same time, I have three hours of a stream tomorrow to do. Am I going to give myself like eight hours of recording to do tomorrow as well? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Like, I like the stream and it's going to be a very fun stream, but... I don't know, it's uh... Yeah. Just uh, a lot to think about. A lot to think about. This week has just been a bad week all around, and um, not much I can do about it at this point, you know? I feel like the week is better now, but I still have to, like, clean up all the mess I've made this week, and yeah. <laughs> it's not depressing me again, but it's definitely uh, uh, got me concerned about my sanity for the rest of the week, if you know what I mean. Um, and we kind of went off the, the rails in this episode a little bit. The moral of the story is uh, Desolation is a dark map and it comes with the dark content. <laughs> How have you guys been this week? Though? My week has been a little bit uh, a little bit off. It's been a pretty bad week for me as I've uh, explained, but how's your week been? Hope you all are doing better than I am. I know that uh, most of you guys play on the PS4. Most of y'all watching me are on the uh, on the PS4, um, which is unfortunate because I would love to have been able to play with you guys, but uh, I cannot. It's not a possibility for me, so uh, cannot be done. I uh, I can't play on the PS4 for one. Uh, I suck with with controller when you're first person shooter. I'm pretty good with the controller in Monster Hunter and like third person kind of stuff, but. Um, in a, in a first person shooter like I can't I can't aim dude I'm pretty good at like flick shots and, and tracking and stuff like that in uh, in KF2 with the the PC you know keyboard and mouse stuff I'm pretty good at tracking like flesh pound heads kind of stuff you know and scrakes and stuff you know pretty good at doing it you know but uh, throw me onto a PS4 and I'll, I'll look like I've never touched a controller in my life dude The new consoles are out now, I think, or they're coming out soon, or something like that. Um, which is exciting, right? Y'all, uh, y'all on the PS4, you getting the new PS5 soon, then? I guess. Is that what y'all are doing? There's some pretty cool stuff going on in it. I remember when the PS5 was first being launched, or like announced, anyway. Peeps were like, "It's so much better than anything else," and uh, they were right at the time. And then, like months later. New CPUs are launching, new GPUs are launching, and it's like, yeah, the PS5 is just so much worse than anything on PC. At the same time, it's like significantly cheaper than that stuff by like thousands of dollars. Um, but like, yeah, it's just, it's just funny. Re it's uh, and it's like the the GPU peeps do the same thing, right? Like they're like it's so much better than anything else available on the market right now. Then like two days later, their competitor releases something, and people are like. Oh, that's why you said right now, huh? I see. I get it. I, I see what you did. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Happens all the time, dude. Everybody does it, right? You want to get those sales before your competitor launches something. You know when it's going to happen. There's there's this this kind of like nonsense going on between everybody. Anyway, I'm going to order food, I guess. Record more? I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.